What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so here's the episode you guys wanted. I'm sorry that I had to uh, prolong it just a little bit, but you know what? You guys got a little educated, right? Well, the comments on the... Well, some of the comments are quite possibly the, the likes and dislikes. Say otherwise, but it is what it is, guys. I do things because, well, I kind of like to do things. Anywho... In our last few episodes, we went through the we went through the rain, you know, just to battle a few Pokemon here and there, just to be the best that no one ever was. And uh, well, it is finally time for us to go straight to Sutopolis City. And uh, what is in Sutopolis City? Well, lots of stuff. Like uh, let's just say Kyogre coming after it. By this point, Kyogre is probably messing up. Uh, Sutopolis City. So all you need to do now is go straight to Route 126, dive, and from there, you're going to be seeing, uh, well, a whole bunch of underground stuff right here. And, uh, well, you got to go straight up to the middle right here in order to find the open cave for Sutopolis. Now, this is a very unique town. Never, ever, ever, ever have I ever thought that, you know, back then that you they would have a town just like this. It's not underground, it's just within a crater. Literally within a friggin' crater right here. And, well, here we are, guys. Sue Topless City. And three things you can find right here. Well, a few things you can find. The gym and a whole bunch of scared people. Now, first things first, I think we need to go into the Pokemon Center because there's maybe one or two things that we need to grab. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back, guys. And, uh, well, we added to our team right here. Ladies and gentlemen, you are seeing the return of good old Ole. Why? Because, well, there's a, there's a little ability that it has that we kind of need in order to get through this whole thing. It's raining, guys. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is not snoring. Nobody bumped its head, and, uh, well, nobody found him dead, so, yeah. We need to go right here, and, uh, well, let's see, not right here, but we need to go up to this area right here. As you guys can already tell, they have actually revamped a Sutopolis City and all that crud. You can't go into any of the houses right now because, of course, um, what was it? Everybody's scared. It's a rainstorm. So, as you guys can see, we have both Tropicana and Ole with us. Mainly because they're both grass-type Pokemon. Ole has the Body Slam technique, which can actually help us out. Now, as you guys can see, Steven and uh, somebody else is there. And here we have Steven calling out our name. Draven. So did you come? I have been waiting for you. What a terrible rain. It feels as though the entire world will be washed away. Ah, uh, yes. Me, you need to hear what my friend has to say. And here's his friend, and well, look at this. Flamboyant AF, this is his friend. My name is Wallace. I am this town's gym leader. I've also been entrusted with the protection of the Cave of Origin. This downpour is being caused by a power emanating from the Cave of Origin. Hmm, that red, is that the red orb? I see. Follow me. Okay, so here we go, guys. We're, we're doing things. And look at this, man. It's like, this is a very nice looking place. And then, of course, cool pose. This rain. People in Pokemon need to live. Or water to live. So why does this rain fill us with so much dread? Cool pose again. Cool pose. Looking upstairs. The rain clouds massing over Sutopolis keep building. Soon they will extend all over Hoenn. Cool pose yet again. If that were to happen... Cool pose yet again. Yeah, he has to have his monologues, guys. He really does. He is that dramatic. Anywho, look at this, guys. We are in front of the Cave of Origin, and well, would you look at that? Beavis and Butthead are right here with us. Team Aqua and Team Magma. We have been ex we have been expecting you, Archie. I'm going to hand over the, the thing that we developed to this kid. All right? Yes. The aqua suit. Take it. Oh, snap! Oh, look at that. We get ourselves the blue per uh, the blue Power Ranger suit. Holy crud, okay. All right, I'm liking this. 
This super high performance protective suit was made by with the combined technology of the uh, the Devon Corporation and Team Aqua, or Team Magma if you were playing the other version. We actually prepared it in anticipation of coming into contact with Kyogre. I'll just leave it with you. But even if you put a thing on, you do do you really think you'll be able to make it all the way uh, down where Kyogre waits? Yeah, it's me. It's me. It's GLD. I do anything I want. The energy overflowing from this shrine is certainly much more powerful than we anticipated. Its influence is making the current grow stronger. There is nothing to fear. The red orb he bears, its ancient powers will protect both the boy and his Pokemon. Hmm. So that's it. Now that you mention it, I do remember the elderly couple at Mount Pyre saying such. The blue orb is capable of releasing Kyogre's full power, of reverting it to its primal form. While the red orb has the power to quell that flood of power. Hmm. And vice versa. Yes, the energy overflowing from the Cave of Origin just now, it is, a very, it is the very energy that gives Kyogre its power. With the red orb, which contains the power that suppressed that, it should be able, or it should be possible to, ca to calm the force of the Great Flood. Uh, of course, the red orb's power alone does not lead you to where Kyogre waits. You will not, you will not reach uh, Hoenn's core that way. Use the suit that you were given. With that, it will finally become possible to stand up against the forces of nature. Okay. Draven, to think that, that you had the red orb. You'll be okay. Cool pose. You and your Pokemon can handle it whatever happens. I believe that. Cool pose. No man or woman from Sutopolis is permitted to enter the Cave of Origin, but you must go together with the Red Orb. You must go regardless of what awaits you inside the cave. We will, we will also work to mobilize our team members and offer help to the people of the Pokemon who are suffering most due to this disaster. Now is the time that when we all must simply do the best that we can within our chosen roles. And you, child. No, you're not acting as a mere child today. Trainer. I am sorry to say that we have to put the greatest burden on your shoulders alone, but I trust you can take care of this. Don't worry, I have been entrusted with a lot of burdens. What's this one? Here we have Archie, he's like dot 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 dot. Sorry. That's it? I'm begging, so save us the world and Kyogre. Okay, so the the fate of the world is resting in my hands and well, hello there. Mm. Mm mm mm. Yes, that's right, guys. Get yourself a girl like me, because she worries about you all the freaking time. Draven, I heard on the news that things were go going haywire around Sutopolis, and then I saw you on the bus nav, Draven. I couldn't just sit there and do nothing when I knew you were in, a, in the thick of it, so I came flying. Yeah, she digs me. She loves me, guys. That's right. What? Isn't that Team Aqua and Team Magma? Okay, I, I just say that I am, like, shocked and confused at so many levels right now. This is probably something way bigger than I can even imagine, isn't it? So I'm not going to, I'm not even going to ask right now. I'm going to try and find what I can do to help and then I'm going to do my best with that. And I'm going to keep hoping and believing that you'll you'll be okay out there, Draven. Yeah, she digs me. Because Oh, yes. Yeah, you dig me. Because you're the best friend I, ha I have. Um We'll work on that. But, yeah, she digs me. She she, she digs me. Guys, I am, uh... <laughs> yeah, buddy. Okay, so... It is time. Maximum effort, guys. Okay, so... We're gonna be going into the Cave of Origin, and apparently... This is where all this power is coming from, and... Well, all you need right here is a repel because there are Pokemon in this uh, facility right here. So let's go right ahead and just move on with the whole shebang. And I think you do need a Pokemon. No, you don't need a Pokemon with, uh, what was it called? Um, you don't need a Pokemon with, uh, with uh, what was it called again? With Flash, like in the older versions. And, oh, there's an extra cave right there. Okay, so what happens if you go right here? And yes, you will be finding some Pokemon in here. I'm going to go this way. And as you guys can see, we're going deeper and deeper within this place. Now, if you're playing Pokemon Omega Ruby, eventually it is steamy. It's uncomfortable. And you hear a different growl right there. Holy buckets. 
Oh my god. The Cape of Origin. Alrighty. Look at this. The fog is just getting foggier. The rumbling is getting rumblier. Holy buckets. This Pokemon's going crazy. Alrighty. So, let's see. Yes, we're going to be putting on more repel because we do not want to get attacked by anybody. And, well, let's see. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, come on, man. Be cool. I'm trying to save you. You are going to be my... Oh, come on, man. You are going to be my Pokemon. And would you look at that, guys. We have reached the end. And normally... Well, in Omega Ruby, you'll find lava. Right here, you'll find water. And, well, would you look at this. Oh, my God. That's right. We have morphed. It's morphin' time. Triceratops. Shout out to David Yost. And, yes, we have gone into our aqua suit. And from there, we fit it into the suit with the red orb. And look at this. Bam! K.O. Ken. So now we are protected by what's about to happen right here, guys. It's God dang Kyogre. And, yes, Zordon has uh, messaged us. Hey, you read me, little scamp? Hi, it's me, Archie. There's a device built into that suit that lets me talk to you. We're getting readings up here that, uh, that look like uh, through though Kyogre's appeared. I'd guess you're staring right at it, if I'm not mistaken. It's like, yes, he's looking at me, you uh, dickhead. Don't be afraid, scamp. You lead right on to the beastie's back. Then, yeah, you can't even, yeah, you can't even, yeah, it's cutting off. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of guessing that you should probably go in the deep cave. So, let's go ahead and jump onto this Pokemon right here. Holy crud, look at that, we're on the back of Kyogre. Okay, so... <laughs> oh, shit's got real, guys. As you guys can see, my Pokenav is damaged. You can't see anything. You can't trade. I'm going to save, and, uh, well... It looks like to me, this is the place where the final showdown is going to happen. Again, in Pokemon Ruby, this place will be filled with lava. Uh, if you guys want to take a look what it looks like, I do have a copy of Pokemon Omega Ruby, uh, the walkthrough, right here on my channel, so... Oh, God. Okay. All right. I have the tiger. I have, uh, everything. Maximum effort. Let's go. Here is Kyogre, waiting for us right here in this cave of origin. Let's go. Alrighty, guys, so here it is. 
Kyogre literally digivolved in front of us, and here is his effect, Primordial Sea. This is the same effect that's been going on outside. Best believe that Fire-type moves will not work in this whole thing, so what we need to do now is we gotta put this Pokémon all paralyzed and all that stuff. Now, as you, as you can see, it's using Aqua Ring just to recover. What we're trying to do is we're trying to paralyze this Pokémon. That way it'll be easier for us to just capture it, but look at this. How messed up would it be if I just used the Master Ball, guys? <laughs> I'm just saying, if I use the Master Ball and and just end it real quickly, I know how I know how angry you guys would be. Now, um, Primordial uh, C combined with Aqua Ring, it will continue to heal up this Pokemon. And as you guys can see, we're just trying our hardest to make sure that this Pokemon you know, gets its HP lowered. And well, just like that makes Tropicana faint. So, we're gonna go to the next best thing right here. Let's go to Ole. And uh, the funny, the fun fact about Ole is that it does have Swift Swim, so it becomes faster in this rain right here. So, let's go right ahead and use a Teeter Dance, or no, not Teeter Dance, but uh, Nature Walk, or Nature whatever power, and look at this. That's right, Hydro Pump. Didn't know I could do that, huh? And it is paralyzed, alrighty. But, there's a big booty right there, and uh, it is getting healed up. So here we go again with another nature power, and here we go. Hydro Pump. That's right, eat it. And here comes the Ice Beam. This is not super effective because Ole is, uh, you know, it is immune to that, I guess. So here we go, let's get one more nature power. That's right, Ole. Get it. And there we go. It is in the red right here. And would you look at that, Kyogre? It has Body Slam too. Holy crud. Okay, so... We can try and capture this Pokemon right now, but then eventually it's going to just try and like... Yeah, it's going to be something different. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to throw a few Ultra Balls, maybe Timer Balls and all that crud. We did go to... Um, what was it called? Uh, I can't remember the name of the place. Oh! Nearly captured this guy. We did go to the first town in order to get timer balls right here. And, well, look at this. This guy is going to definitely make Ole faint. And just like that, it's healing up just a little bit more. So it's going to be a little bit difficult now. So we're going to go with Leviathan right here. Mainly because it's a water-type Pokemon. And what we're going to be doing right here is we're going to try and go for a timer ball and see if we can actually capture with that. If not, then we're gonna have to attack it. I don't trust using Drug Impulse or Surf right now because that will mess everything up. So, as you guys can see, Kyogre is not coming out. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want to get captured right now, so. Oh my god. And it is healing up. Kyogre, why are you being so mean? So let's see, what kind of moves do I have? Ah, it has Dive. Yeah, that's not gonna work out. So let's go right ahead and use another timer ball. Hopefully, maybe this might be the miracle that might work. There it is. One. Damn it. Okay, so yeah, this Pokemon is not. It, well, look at that. It does not want to get captured, but there we go. Let's see. I'm eight levels above Kyogre again. I do not trust my surf technique against this guy. Especially when it's a it's special effect powers up water type moves. Yeah, not going to happen. All right, let's see. Aqua Ring failed. Okay, so it's healing up properly. Let's go right ahead and uh, do, 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 let's go. Do, 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 do. You know what? Screw it. Let's go. Let's go with a surf attack right here. And don't make it faint. There we go. Okay, so you are paralyzed, my friend. And you're still healing up. Oh, come on. Okay, he's being lame. Let's go straight for a timer ball. Let's hit it. Come on. Stay in the Pokeball. You. There's two. Come on. There's three. Oh, damn it. Ah. Trust issues. My trust issues are... What the heck? Organ... But what origin pulse? This is a specialized move, and wow. Okay, so point taken. <sighs> okay, so I guess we're gonna have to go with another timer ball. 
Shouldn't these timer balls be good, like, after 10 throws or something like that? Because, seriously, there's three. Come on. Yes! Yes! Okay! Throwing out the peace sign. That's right. You see? I kept my cool the whole entire time. You guys thought I was going to panic. And, well... <sighs> yeah, buddy. We caught ourselves Kyogre. Look at this Pokemon, the Sea Basin Pokemon. So, Kyogre is said to be the personification of the sea itself. Legends tell of if, if its many clashes against Groudon as each sought to gain the power of nature. And no, we are not nicknaming this Pokemon. It is going straight to our teams. And because of all that, things get a little real right here in the Cave of Origin. And, well, we got the GTFO out of here because, yeah, we don't want to die. And would you look at that. Alrighty, guys, so as you guys can see, things are happening. Sparkly things are happening. Professor Birch looking up on the sky, and, uh, yep, that's me. <clears throat> I am the hero. And would you look at that? Wally's made it to the Pokemon League. Good for him. Good for him. So sad that I'm going to have to beat him. Wow, look at this. Like, everybody is just looking. Even the Team Aqua Grunts are like, holy crud, we are saved. That's right. It's me, GLD. And the only Grunt that's ever trained his Pokemon ever. He's looking, he's just like crying. Anywho, I'm going to shut the hell up and just keep on watching this. Yeah, buddy. The hero is back, and well, <clears throat> that's right. Our girlfriend's like, Draven! It's really over, isn't it? Draven, we owe you a great thanks. Look above you. The sky over Sutopolis has returned to normal. Cool pose. The power which has been pooling within the Cave of Origin is now flowing back onto the world. Dot, dot, dot. It's so warm. Just now my heart felt like it was about to be crushed by uncertainty and terror. But now it feels like it's been softly set to ease. Or at ease, I should say. Dot, dot, dot. The land or the sea. Humans or Pokemon. We sought to bring happiness to only one. We nearly destroyed both. Yeah, dickheads. Now the world's balance is restored in its natural state. Perhaps this is a time we should, we must recons uh, reconsider our ideals. Don't you agree, Archie? If I was him, I would be like, yeah, I'm throwing, a, I'm flipping you off, man. But yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right, Maxie. What what you're saying is only natural. I know that, but still, I can't just change. The world I believe to be ideal. The kind of world that I dreamed of making where I could live alongside my beloved Pokemon, that hasn't changed. I know I've got nothing to stand on after causing so much hurt, but... And, uh, well, look at this. That's right. You caused a big fuss where there, there when you almost brought the, about the downfall of the world, you big dolt. No matter how much of a, you, you beg, no one can forgive that. But, do you really need their forgiveness, though? Even though, even if you are uh, a big dolt who no one in the world will ever forgive, I'll forgive you. I'll stay with you. I'll stay with you forever. Get yourself a girl like that. Yeah, she forgives you, homeboy. So please, stop going on in your own acting crazy. You're our leader, our Team Aqua leader, and we're your friends after all. Shelly, sorry and thanks.
Hmm. We adults have a duty to pass this world along the next generation. A world worth passing along. What is it? What is it we truly need to do to create such a world? Take each other's hand in friendship or fight for the right of, of supremacy. I think it is time we consider this again with our team members and break down the walls between us. Chris Jericho, that's right. Break down the walls, homeboy. All right, you little scamp. You managed to use that red orb. So now I'll see you try to use uh, this on for size. I'll give it uh, to Kyogre. You should be able to control its primal reversion. And there you go. We get ourselves the blue orb. Suck it. Farewell. See ya. And that is how Draven saved the world again. Cool pose. Team Mamma and Team Aqua are made up of people with completely opposing ideals and goals. But perhaps even they can learn to meet halfway, one small concession at a time. Cool pose yet again. Looking up. I know it's too much to expect that everyone, everything will change at once, but I hope this crisis might at least help them take the first vital step forward. I imagine that, may change, uh, that many changes are happening now all across Hoenn. I hope you will be able to travel the world and see its richness with your own eyes and revel in its newness in your own heart. Cool pose yet again. But for the present, you may first wish to challenge the city's gym. There you'll find the very same Wallace who, who helped us so much waiting for you. He's strong. But the way you are now, you should be capable of battling him on an equal footing. Cool pose yet again. And when you travel the world, you try and use this. This flute is one of my favorite items. And uh, there you go, guys. We no longer need the fly technique. We got ourselves the Eon flute, which will automatically call uh, Latios or Latias, depending on which version, to actually move you around this area. So as you guys can see, he's saying, the Eon flute is proof of the bond between you and your Latias. No matter how far you may be from one another, Play the flute and the Latias will surely fly straight to you. Then it can take you in the sky soaring above the land in your astride its back. Yes, just like that when we first encountered Latios and Latias at Southern Island. Cool pose yet again. People, Pokemon, nature itself. Our survival in this world depends on all of us living in, uh, together in harmony. I feel I have just begun to understand that. And I'm wondering how this world will continue to change from this point on. It fills me with an unexpected excitement. Draven, as you and your Pokemon live and grow in this changed world, I wonder what, what effect it will have on you. What will you think about? What ideals will you believe in? If we do get a chance to meet again, I hope you will be able to show me and my team the answers that you found. Until then, walking away coolly. Not a word. Anywho, the girl of your dreams. Whew. And it's finally the, uh, just the two of us again. Man, she really does dig you. She really does. So I've got to say thanks for everything you've done for our region, Draven. Mm, 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 mm. She digs us, guys. She really does. You know, I thought we were supposed to uh, set out from a uh, little route together. But but you, Draven, it seems like you just got getting further and further ahead of me. I even started to feel like you've gone somewhere where I can't even reach. I'm always here, baby. I am always here. It's pretty lonely, you know. <laughs> Not. What would you think if I really said something like that? Uh, you dig me. You really do. And yes, I will be your boyfriend. Hey. <laughs> Anyways, you did something really amazing today, so try and take it easy for a while. See you later. Yep. That's right, guys. We are the heroes of this story. And, uh, well... Because of that, guys, things started happening. As you guys can see in the Hoenn news, the extreme weather that formed around Sutopolis City has subsided thanks to the cooperation of many people, not to mention Pokemon. We've been able to take a, uh, back our blue skies. To all our viewers, we can relax now. Hmm. And, uh, well, that right there is pretty much it for this episode, guys. Wow. Things just picked up right here, and uh, if you talk to this guy, oh, you there, Yun, you're one of the, you're you're the one who saved Sutopolis. No, you're the one who saved all the Hoenn. Of all things, I really I must I must thank you sincerely. 
I swear I will live what time I have left in this life to its fullest, thanks to you. Now, last thing, if you go right here in Sutopolis City and you go straight towards this little area, you will be able to find something pretty special. Right here, you'll be able to find a Sable Knight. Yes, and we do have a Sable Knight. Alrighty, okay. So that right there is our reward. And, uh, well, something did change, guys. Something changed drastically, and that is that not only can we use Latias to move around freely here in Hoenn, but there are new Pokemon that have just popped up into just popped up in the whole area right here. Um, this, I, I believe, you will be st you, you'll start seeing uh, like right like right now, literally right now, in different areas and all that stuff, especially the places that you start surfing at. So. What we're going to be doing for the next few episodes is, I guess, another few side quests. Maybe checking out Mirage areas and all that stuff. And, whoa, holy crud. Hold on. Hold the phone. This guy is rare. Come on. Don't be lame. Come to come to my head. And it is at level 40. Seriously. Okay. What if it's a red... What if it's a golden Magikarp? If it was a golden Magikarp, this is the best way to end this episode. And, no, not a golden Magikarp. Okay. Never mind. But anywho, uh, yeah, things are just starting to pick up. If you guys remember back in Little Root Town, there is a little specific item that we just uh, that just appeared in that area. So what is going to happen now, guys, like I said, we are going to be taking side quests. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff before we battle for our final badge here in the Hoenn region. So thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys again for being uh, supportive as always. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.